This Kubota tractor was brought to me a few weeks ago because it had been abused, meaning it had been run for quite some time with very little to no maintenance. It was actually in such bad shape when we brought it over that we had to tow it up the driveway with a different tractor. Now it's running again, and in fact it's running quite well. I'll put up a link to the video showing how I fixed it. But the signs of abuse are still there, and today we're going to talk about the cooling system, which is very low on coolant, and part of the system actually has a big hole in it. We're going to go over how the system works and how to flush it out, because I can just about guarantee you, whatever coolant is left in this tractor, it's dirty and it's been in there for too long. Today we're going to fix that. The cooling system on a tractor is pretty straightforward. Here's how it works. The main component is the radiator, located right in the front. The radiator is what transfers excess heat to the surrounding air. The radiator has two hoses attached to it, an upper hose where hot coolant leaves the engine, and a lower hose where coolant returns to the engine after dumping excess heat. In order to assist with heat transfer, there's a fan, which is driven by a belt connected directly to the crankshaft. On the same shaft as the fan, there's a water pump. The water pump is what circulates coolant through the engine. It's important to note that coolant is always flowing down through the engine block and back up around through the cylinder head. The only question is whether or not the coolant flows through the radiator. That function is controlled by this component right here, which is called the thermostat. The thermostat is just a temperature controlled valve. When the coolant is below about 70 degrees Celsius, the thermostat remains closed, meaning coolant can only flow through the engine. However, as the engine runs and the coolant heats up and exceeds that 70C threshold, the thermostat opens and allows coolant to flow through the radiator. One component that's not diagrammed on here, but which is very important, is the radiator cap located right on the top. We'll talk about that component separately now. Here I have two diagrams of the radiator cap showing two different scenarios. Scenario A shows what happens when the pressure within the cooling system is too high, and scenario B shows what happens when the cooling system draws a vacuum, so when the pressure within is below atmosphere. The radiator cap is important because it dynamically adjusts the amount of coolant within the cooling system based on the pressure within. Because remember, when you turn the tractor on after it's been sitting for a while and that cooling system heats up, the pressure is going to increase. Conversely, when you turn the tractor back off and it returns to room temperature, the pressure is going to drop. The radiator cap ensures that the pressure always stays within a certain limit, normally about 0 to 15 PSI. In the top diagram here, you can see what happens when the pressure in the cooling system exceeds 15 PSI. In that case, the pressure within pushes this valve on the radiator cap up, allowing coolant to flow out of the radiator into an overflow tank. Conversely, on the bottom, once the cooling system has cooled back down, it draws a vacuum and it pulls this inner valve on the radiator cap down to suck coolant back from the overflow tank into the radiator. In this way, the radiator cap ensures that the pressure within the cooling system always stays within a safe limit. We're at the front of the tractor with the hood open, and you can see the radiator right here, the radiator cap right on top, and the coolant overflow tank in the front. The overflow tank should be about half full with coolant, but it's not. It's empty. It is, however, very dirty inside. After thinking very long and hard about the problem, I believe it has something to do with the fact that it has a giant hole in it, and it was probably run like this for hundreds of hours. Fortunately, this is a very easy problem to fix. The old tank slips right off, the new one slips right on. You just need a pair of pliers to undo a few hose clamps, a few zip ties, and it comes right out. So let's take care of this now. Now we're going to drain the coolant from the tractor. First we need to remove the radiator cap. Next we need to detach one end of the lower radiator hose, which is right here in between the fuel lift pump and the engine oil filter. This will drain coolant from both the engine block and the radiator. I have a drain pan set up to capture the coolant, and I've set it on top of some cinder blocks. This just gets it a bit closer to where the coolant is draining from, so I'm less likely to make a mess.
Now that the coolant is drained out, the lower radiator hose can be put back into place. I'm going to be using this product by Prestone to help clean out the cooling system. For systems less than 3 gallons, which this tractor is, all you have to do is add this to the radiator, add water, run the tractor for about 5 hours, and then drain it and put the coolant back. One note about the water. Some people like to put tap water into their cooling system, but I always like to use distilled water, and that's because distilled water has nothing dissolved in it. The minerals dissolved in tap water can, over time, form deposits in the cooling system, and the whole point of what we're doing is to try to clean the cooling system out, so it really is best to use distilled water, especially since a gallon of distilled water at the supermarket only costs about a dollar. The last thing to do is to get the overflow tank about halfway full. After that's done, we'll run the tractor for a bit, then we'll come back, drain the cooling system, and put the coolant back in. Okay, as you can see, I've got the loader back on. I did some work with it for a few hours, so now we can drain the cooling system again and refill it with coolant. Alright, the cooling system on this tractor is now fully serviced. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe.